वेलकम टू एस के यू माई क्लासेस माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर नेहा शर्मा एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर एंड हेड डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ माइक्रोबायोलॉजी द टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट द अल्ट्रास्ट्रक्चर ऑफ बैक्टीरिया बैक्टीरिया आर स्मॉल माइक्रोस्कोपिक एंटिटीज दैट आर ओनली विजिबल दैट आर नॉट वी आर नॉट एबल टू सी दैम थ्रू नेकेड आइज बट वी कैन सी दैम थ्रू माइक्रोस्कोप ओनली नाउ बैक्टीरिया दे हैव अ डाइवर्स हैबिटेड they are found in deserts they are found in hostile environments like radioactive places depth of the sea as well as volcanic eruptions so what are the specific features that makes a bacteria a unique entity that we are going to study well when we are going to study about the ultra structure of bacteria then it gives us the answer of the question why bacteria can be seen in all the specific habitats now now the term bacteria was coined by christian gotthard ehrenberg he was born in germany on 19th april 1795 now this is the morphological appearance of bacteria in a petri plate what is basically a petri plate is a petri plate is a small glass like instrument which contains specific media these are the nutritional requirement which helps the bacteria to grow now here as we can see this structure represents the bacterial colony now the bacterial colony what do you mean by bacterial colony bacterial colony means that there are around 200 to 500 bacteria in this specific cluster and this pin point structure is a single bacterium now we will see the bacteria in a microscope now this is the structure of bacteria taken at 100x magnification 100x magnification means the normal eye it has a magnification of 1x now we are seeing this under a microscope at 100 times magnified view so this is the 100x magnification in this 100x magnification we have some rod shaped bacteria these bacteria are rod shaped bacteria that's and these are bacteria they are in the form of spirillium so these are the spiral bacteria now these are these bacteria they are small round shaped spherical structure these that is why they are known as cocci and these are small bacteria with the form of a small ring which is found in a ball point bank these are known as the spiral bacteria every shape of the bacteria plays a important role that determines whether the bacteria is going to live in a desert in a saline environment in a volcanic eruption so the shape of the bacteria it plays a very important role now this is the ultra structure of bacteria this is the transmission electron image of e coli what is a transmission electron image transmission electron image is an image which is taken with the help of a electron microscope at 1 lakh magnification it means that we are magnifying the image of a single bacteria at 1 lakh times magnification power this is the transmission electron microscope and this is a simple structure that we are mostly seeing in the books now there are various structure that makes the bacteria specific to us whether the bacteria they are going to found found in in different environmental conditions now in the ultra structure of bacteria we have specific structures that makes the bacteria unique to live in a variety of diverse habitat that is the cell wall the cell membrane the bacterial chromosomes ribosomes pili fimbriae and capsules now we are going to study in detail every specific structures now this cell wall of bacteria now this is the when we say a section of bacteria this is the cell wall of the bacteria the outermost structure is the cell wall of bacteria as we can see that it is a disrupted structure the cell wall of the bacteria is the outermost covering of the bacterium cell it is 0.1 mm nanometers in diameter and it is made up of urine ticoic acid and peptidoglycan that makes it resistant to various sort of chemical structures and because of the 
thickness of the cell wall of bacteria we can determine the bacteria as gram positive bacteria also and gram negative bacteria cell of wall of the bacteria it protects the bacteria from various sorts of antibiotics as well as it gives pathogenicity to the bacterial cell it means that no some sort of antibiotics are there which cannot kill a specific type of bacteria this sort of features it re renders the bacteria with the from the cell wall of the bacteria copies of various sorts of chromosomes and store them in a single entity that is the bacteria these sort of entities are called as cdna libraries which formed a very important role in recombinant dna technology this is the structure of a bacterial chromosome this bacterial chromosome has a denser part and these all lighter structures which are there in the cytoplasm these are the threads of the bacterial chromosome these are the uncoiled forms of the bacterial chromosome now bacterial chromosomes contains various genes that makes the bacteria helpful for respiration and for reproduction so bacterial chromosome only contains two genes that a bacteria that make the bacteria fulfill only two processes that is the respiration and as well as the reproduction process now we have the bacterial plasmid bacterial plasmid is also is like a bacterial chromosome but it is not a bacterial chromosome why it is a genetic material also but it is a extra chromosomal part means a portion has of the bacterial chromosome has been detached it is also a circular part but it contains specific genes that makes the bacteria resistant to antibiotics provide pathogenicity makes the bacteria to adhere to any sort of surface as well as it can live in any sort of hostile conditions so now we have the pili why what are pili basically pili these are the small hair like projections which are found on the outer surface of the bacterial cell as we can see in this slide these small projections which are taking place from the bacterial cell these are basically the pili so these are small hair like structures and this is the bacterial pili they are made up of the chemical made up of pilin it is a small tubular structure they also form the cytoskeleton of the bacterial cell and they perform only two function that is the conjugation that is the transfer of genetic material from one bacteria to another bacteria as well as they adhere to various different surfaces of the bacterial cells now this is the process of the conjugation conjugation means the transfer of genetic material means the plasm the various genes that are responsible for promoting antibiotic resistance as well as pathogenicity from one bacteria to another this is basically a bridge as we can say that these bridge are made up of various small various spherical structure which are formed in a beaded like pattern this is a pili this is the point of origin of pili and this is the point of origin of pili now we have capsule we have a question arises bacteria are formed in various sort of diverse con diverse habitats so irrespective of the conditions how the bacteria they are able to survive under unfavorable condition it takes place with the help of this specific structure which is a capsule now capsules are the specific structures which are secreted from the bacterial cell that is the cell membrane under unfavorable conditions they are made up of polysaccharide now because of the nature of this polysaccharide the process of respiration mean exchange of gases that is the co2 and o2 between the bacterial cell and the environment it takes place because of this region it protects the bacteria from lysis as well as desiccation now this is the figure the denser most structure of the capsule now this structure of caps this capsule it is 0.1 mm in diameter it is made up of a polysaccharide and it is enclosing the protoplasm of the bacterial cell now 
under some conditions this capsule is degenerating small holes are forming in this portion and this is the figure which shows the degeneration of capsule and oozing of protoplasm from the bacterial cell and this is the desiccation of the bacterial cell and whole of the bacterial cell has been dispersed so this whole figure tells us why the capsule it forms a very important role for the motto that bacteria can live under any sort of diverse conditions now bacteria as we know it is found in various sort of diverse places even some bacteria they are found in the gastrointestinal tract of human beings also the animals also the also so bacteria they have to move from one place to another place so for movement bacteria they have a locomotory organ which is called as the flagella these are small appendages hair like projections but flagella are the locomotory organ they are also having hair like projections whereas the pili they are also having the hair like projections but the difference is like this the pili are made up of chemical pili whereas the flagella they are made up of the chemical flagellin flagella they respond to the changes in the environment surrounding micro environment of the bacteria and they help in locomotion of the bacteria in human beings we have hands and legs insects they have their appendages as well as their walking legs plants they cannot move the bacteria when they have to move from one place to another place they have hair like projections known as the flagella flagella only respond to the changes in the environment that is the micro environment of the bacteria and they are made up of small hair uh, chemicals known as the flagellin they are the cluster of hair like projections now we now we have studied various sorts of ultra structure of bacteria that is Uh, the cell wall cell membrane bacterial chromosome ribosomes pili fimbri and capsule every structure in detail now we can say that with these structures they play a very important role in answering the question that the bacteria it live can live in any sort of environment and under the harsh and environmental conditions also thank you